Brown, and today we're going to make ole guacamole. This is a great Mexican treat, and we are in the middle of Fiesta here in Santa Barbara. This recipe is a classic guacamole. I was at my farmer's market looking at all the great tomatoes. Oh, there are all kinds of colors. And I got some avocados there too. I also got some peppers, and I picked these lemons from my tree in the backyard. Holy moly, guacamole. It was fun. So let's make our dish. The ingredients for this dish are the star of the dish, the avocados, tomato, red onion, cilantro, and that was fun picking out too, lemons, or you can use limes, salt, and pepper. For my heat today, I'm going to use a pasilla chili, but you can use Tabasco or cayenne pepper, whatever's on hand, that's fine. I'm going to eat it with my homemade tortilla chips, and that recipe's on my channel too. Let's get started. Cut your avocados in half. Twist them apart, and now do this. Hit the knife into the center of the pit and twist out. Isn't that easy? Then you gotta get the pit off the knife. Careful. <laughs> Just take your knife and you cut a checkerboard pattern into your avocado. Cross hatch, inside out, into the bowl he goes. And I do the cross hatch method again. This is like my go-to chopping method. Be careful of your fingers and you need a sharp knife to cut a tomato or a serrated one. So be careful. I'm adding all of these to my guacamole. If you don't have any tomatoes, you can skip this part. But this makes it extra saucy and I like that. I'm adding a tiny bit of red onion and I'm cutting it into really teensy little bites. Because I'm one of those who don't want a big bite of onion when I'm eating something. I like the flavors to really blend in. I like less than one tablespoon of finely chopped red onion per avocado. That's all. And this is a big pile, so I'm not going to use all of it. One of my favorite flavors in a guacamole would be the lime or the lemon juice. Today I have lemons, but this could be limes as well. That white stuff is so bitter, it'd be awful. If you don't want a zest because you don't have the right equipment, don't because it's better to leave it out than to have any of that bitter taste. Here we go. I want the juice of one or two limes or one lemon. My heat today is going to be in the form of a real life pepper, but you can use Tabasco cayenne pepper, whatever you like. If you use cayenne pepper, I suggest try a quarter teaspoon at a time because it's really hot. So I'm chopping these up in little tiny bites because I just don't want it too hot in any one bite. You can use jalapeno as well. But taste or beware. My little bowl looks like a little confetti party happening. I really like the flavor of cilantro with all of that lemon juice and avocado. So I'm going to add about three tablespoons of chopped cilantro. To this quantity, I add half a teaspoon of salt and some swift grinds of fresh ground pepper. And then we stir it up. This guacamole is just your basic, basic recipe. Classic is the best in my book. So subscribe to my channel and let's keep cooking together. You can find these chips on my channel too. Oh. That's amazing. Mm. Viva la fiesta!